was originally meant to be a uh, title fight between Pierre and Mateus' brother uh, Damien. Damien's had a reoccurring hernia problem, had to pull out about three, four weeks back. Good opening there. Yep. What I, what I find real interesting about Pierre, as you're going to see now, right on cue, is if you watch his uh, ground game, he's got a He's actually got a very rudimentary Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game, but he's, he does it very well. Basics done extremely well. He's going for that triangle. Yeah, absolutely. He doesn't do anything super flamboyant. He's just extremely good at the basics. Here we go. Wow. Pierre loves going for that leg. He does. He does. He's got have it. it. He's got a toe hold, I think. Has he got the toe? Ricky looks quite calm. The thing about these uh, K1 fighters, you know, strong legs, they, they're they not always susceptible to the leg locks. Oh, without question. Without but uh, question. let's see. Pierre undoubtedly is going to work around the body now, systematically. Sequentially now he's going to go for his, he's going to flow for his submission, see what comes up, see, see if he comes up trumps. But just watch his groundwork. Good striker from the ground. Um, we've, we've seen before, Pierre, Pierre's happy to take shots like this. I mean, we saw the fight that he had with Lars Bassan. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, not being funny, the state of Pierre at the sure. end of that, you know. The thing about Pierre as well, he's very tall, very lanky. So when he's in the guard in this position, it's very difficult because you've really got to reach to punch him because mm. so, he stretches out, you know, he uses his legs well. As, so it's, it's problematic for the guy striking from the guard. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, as Pierre said before, I've, I've asked Pierre previously, I've said... Uh, you know, you're going to stand there and mix you know, yeah. guys, you're going to stand there and mix with the guy. In his own words, he says, if a guy comes out, takes a swing at me, catches me once, I think, damn, I'm, I'm getting him down. Yeah. I mean, Pierre openly admits he doesn't like to stand up with anyone. Sure. Now, Matthias taking those swings, but Pierre's doing a classic jiu-jitsu thing. Just turning his head. Yeah. Yeah, Riccio's landing, but they're not... They're not uh, I don't think they're robust enough shots yeah. to cause any real damage. It's, it's not just uh, the turn of the head. What he's doing is working the guard. He has his hand, sorry. Around the back of the tire's tip. We'll see if it happens again. We'll see where his arm is there. Now the tire's jaws out, tries to hit the road. And it's the actual arm. Right. I think uh, Pierre's going to weather this storm for a while. He's, he's, he's got to be careful. I think he's got to be careful. I mean, yeah, Matthias is a uh, 
predominantly a stand-up fighter. But um, as we've seen previously, you know, his brother Damien, very good on the ground. So obviously Matthias, you know, trains, well, lives with, yeah. with Damien. So he's, for me, he's not going to be as good as, but he knows his stuff. Sure. But uh, Pierre's fought this sort of guy before, as we were saying in, in Lars. Same sort of build, same mm -hmm. aggression. Good. That was a good solid right hand shot. A couple of clean shots got in, but. Uh... Yeah. It's interesting to see what. I mean, you can see Pierre uh, a couple of times now, he's trying oh. to track. Good work by Riccio. Yeah, indeed. That was a good pass. There's a couple of times where, you know, Pierre has looked to tie up an arm, you yeah. know, possibly go for an arm bar or something. Sure. Matthias, though, you look at him, he's very similar to what we've seen Matt Ewan earlier in the night. He keeps, he keeps moving, keeps very fluid. Yeah. Now, it looked to me that Pierre gave him his back there. Yeah, I think he did. For obvious reasons. I think uh, he did. But, uh, no, sorry, as, as I was saying, I think Pierre's a couple of times there looked to go for a submission. And, you know, but Matthias, as we say, similar fight to Matt Ewing. You know, sure. He might well be in someone's guard, but he's yeah. just moving his hands. He's not letting that hand break. Yeah, good. I have there. to say, I'm impressed with Riccio's groundwork, though. Oh, yeah. Thus far, very good. And there's, there's okay. Pierre's turn. Let's see what he's got. He's... Using the elbow, which uh, a lot of fighters use these days. Originally, that's that's an idea that actually came from UFC fighter Jeremy Horn. Yeah, just popping that elbow down, push on the head and pull. Oh, and this could be okay. This could be over quick. Oh, Matthias is working, working very well. Is it a mistake for uh, Riccio to post up? What do you think? I don't know. I mean, he's he's going to have strong. Oh, that's yeah. good. Good work. I'm impressed with Riccio this far, I have to say. That's a Very good, that is so. a good round. Oh. A good round. And, uh, How'd you feel that round, Gav? Interesting one. It was, I mean, Pierre, to me, started to get the better just towards the end, you know, got a good flow of punches and choke attempt. But all in all, if you look at it, you know, it's really was Matthias who controlled the majority of that first Yeah, round. I mean, if, if you look at uh, Riccio in comparison to Lars, for example, yeah. I, I feel that Riccio uh, was more successful than Lars was in his ground attempts. Yeah. yeah. And he's not, you know, in Lars, I would argue that Lars is more of a ground fighter than uh, Riccio, and he seemed to do... I, I'm really, really impressed with that. Really impressed with that. Now, I... You know... Riccio's corner are looking very confident, you know, you can see Damien yeah. smiling, he's, he's pointing over at Pierre, you know, he's saying, yeah, yeah I Yeah, th I think they're unconcerned, and, and rightly so, I think, you know, they're, they're, he's an all-rounder, actually, he's, he seems very good. But I will look for Pierre, he will go straight to the ground, he will look to go straight down. Here we go, round two. He'll probably launch a kick, launch a punch, and he's going to look to go for that shoot. There we go. Now, I think that shot might have caught Pierre. Yeah, he got a, he got a bit of a half shot in there, maybe uh, sort of. Yeah, this is this is interesting. We're seeing Pierre and Matthias' guard. Yeah, I yeah. think Pierre got caught with a bit of a grazing shot there. I think he did. Now, this is the thing. You know, Matthias, top or bottom, stays active. Yeah. He always stays active. Now, I think Pierre's going to bide his time here for a bit. He's going to wait for an opening and straight away he'll pass that guard. I mean, he's, he passes people's guards with ease, you know. I'm yeah. Talking to some top guys. He's very nimble well with. with his passes. Very much so. Pierre's, I think Pierre's doing the right thing here. He's either, he's either sitting, up, sitting up quite high to... Passing over. There, there we, we go. go yeah. Oh, good scramble oh, though by uh, Ricky half guillotine. Oh, oh, slips out. It's just a powerhouse. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, the, these these kickboxers very strong necks as well. It's 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 very difficult to get the guillotines. Yeah. Especially I mean, without the gi slipping, the sweat and so forth. Uh, 
what people have to remember is uh, going back to Ultimate Combat 7, you know, you had uh, Lars against uh, Pierre. Yeah. And it was almost the same in that fight, you know, I think, I think it was two rounds in or something. And to be honest, even then I was saying, wow, you know, it looks to me like Lars is actually getting the better of Pierre. Yeah. Pierre then pulled the submission out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm sure he'd do exactly the same here. Yeah, he has that ability just to just to pull it out of the bag. Yeah. Um, the question is, is, is Ricky a more robust opponent? Oh, there we go. Oh. oh. He escaped that easily. Yeah. This guy is in, on his escapes. As soon as uh, he's engaging them, he's out. You know, he doesn't ask around. He's straight out. Indeed. Indeed. He's not. Okay, good side control. I was going to say he's not one for hanging around. I think that's no. an appropriate term. It, he's... You know, as we were saying, Matthias trains with Damian. I mean, Damian is yep. a submission expert. Absolutely. Yeah, he really knows his stuff. Yeah. And no, he's got a very shrewd knowledge of escapes, and to that end, he's out of them. You know, he's out of them immediately. Yeah. He doesn't let the guys sink him in. Good, he's mounted. I mean, this is hard to do against Pierre. I have to say. I was going to say. I think Pierre might just look straight away, turn his back again. Yeah. But he's got to be careful. Yeah. He's got to look to turn his back and do sit. There he goes. There he goes. He's happy to give his back up to Matthias. Yeah. I think Although that's saying that, I think Matthias might well have that choking this time. He has! Oh! Wow. And there's an upset. Wow. Fired up. Indeed. Bit of adrenaline. Oh, Pierre. Now there is an upset. Oh, my God. Well, Gav, uh, what can I say? Well. Incredible. I was going to say, I mean, that, that has surprised me. I honestly thought it was going to be a similar fight to Lars. Pierre was going to come out, weather the storm a bit, and just quite simply slap on the submission. I did think it was going to wow. be relatively easy for him. Um, That's all she wrote. Well, it's, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, you know. Very impressive. The Rikios are incredible, without yeah, doubt. Yeah, and it's going to be good to see for the next fight. What people should also remember is the fact that this wasn't a title fight. Yeah. That's the original challenge of Damian uh, Ricky sure. stepped out at the last minute. We are hoping that title fight will be at the next event. So what are your thoughts on, on that? To that end, what are your thoughts? I mean, we're, we're looking at Damian, who's trained uh, Matthias, and he's just taken the fight by way of submission. True. Is indeed his brother a better submission artist? Uh, yeah, yeah, but the difference... Uh, Damian is better than Matthias. Yeah. My... My viewpoint to that, though, would be the fact that Damian is about 10 kilos lighter. Yeah, sure. Damian is Weight is a factor. When it's, when it's you know, authoritative power, uh, then, it, yeah, it matters, absolutely. And Damian, um, you know, he's basically a midweight fighter fighting in light heavyweights. Sure. Which is fine. I think it's difficult to say because Damian is very talented himself, but I think Pierre would have a be much better chance yeah. against Damian than, well, I thought he had a good chance against Matthias. Who knows? Pierre's clearly uh, upset about the outcome. Um, you know, again, a question of character. I've no doubt he'll come back stronger than ever. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be an interesting one to see, but overall, you know, we've had some good fights. I'm, I'm looking forward, hopefully, if he fights his brother, you know. <laughs> In many ways, that could be a retribution for Pierre. You know, beating a, one of the Rikios next time round. So. Yeah, we've had some good fights tonight. Peter.